concurrency in Java. It is the ability of the Java language and runtime to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Java provides a number of built-in features and libraries to support concurrency, like thread class and the java.util.concurrent package. So what's the official definition of concurrency in Java? Oracle's official document says that the Java platform is designed from the ground up to support concurrent programming with basic concurrency support in the Java programming language and the Java class libraries. Since version 5.0, the Java platform has also included high level concurrency APIs. And in fact, from the latest release of Java, which is Java 19, now we have some more interesting features related to concurrency like virtual threads and structured concurrency. So basically, you can't avoid concurrency in Java. It is inherent in the platform and critical to achieve good performance from multi-core processes. Two basic units of execution in concurrent programming are processes and threads. Java programming is largely focused around the threads. Now you may ask, what's the difference between the two? A process has a self-contained execution environment. A process generally has a complete and private set of basic runtime resources. In particular, each process has its own memory space. While threads, which are often called the lightweight processes, exist within a process and share process resources, including memory and open files. So that's the fundamental difference. While the process can be called an execution environment itself, a thread is an execution unit running inside that environment. It is important to remember that threads exist within a process and every process has at least one thread. When we talk about process, we often see them, see those processes as the programs or applications. However, when you see a single application, that may in fact be a set of multiple cooperating processes. Both processes and threads provides an execution environment, but creating a new thread requires fewer resources than creating a new process. Java has a rich set of concurrency features and libraries that allow developers to develop high performance and responsive systems or we can say to support concurrency, like thread class and the java.util.concurrent package. But it is important to design and implement concurrent systems carefully. Let's take a snapshot of concurrency features in Java. The first is thread itself. Threads allows multiple activities to proceed concurrently as it's a lightweight independent unit of execution that can run concurrently with the other threads. Each thread has, has its own stack and program counter, and they share the same memory space with the main program. Java provides the thread class, which can be used to create and manage threads. Next, we have synchronization. Java provides built-in synchronization mechanism, like the synchronized keyword, which ensures that only a single thread can execute a method or block at one time. And then we have the lock interface that can be used to coordinate access to shared resources. Next, we have executors. Executors are a powerful and flexible framework for managing the threads. The executor interface and its implementations like thread pool executor provide a way to execute tasks asynchronously and manage a pool of worker threads. Next, we have concurrent collections. Java.util.concurrent package provides a number of thread safe collections like concurrent hash map and concurrent linked queue that can be used to safely share data between threads. Next, we have the concept of atomic classes. Java provides a set of classes that provide atomic operations such as atomic integer and atomic reference classes, which can be used to perform operations on shared data without the need for expl explicit in synchronization to provide any kind of explicit synchronization. Then we have futures and callables. 
the future and callable interfaces provide a way to represent the result of an asynchronous computation and to cancel a, a particular running task. From Java 19, two more concurrent features are in trains. One is a preview feature, the idea of virtual threads, and another is an incubating API, the structured concurrency. We'll discuss these features and other interesting highlights of Java 19 in the next part.